All right, what we have here is something called the circle grid. And we're going to use a circle grid to determine the scale factor of a trapezoid being dilated. And the problem reads that trapezoid UVWX, which is shown here in yellow, is dilated to form trapezoid QRST. Use the circle grid to determine the scale factor of dilation. Point C is the center of dilation. Now, whenever you want to determine what the scale factor is of a dilation, what you do is you start by going to your center of dilation and you draw a line going to any of the vertices of your shape. And I'm just going to start by going from point C to point V. And then what we have to do is see what the length of that line is. Now, with a circle grid, we measure units in radii. And this is the first circle in the center. And we would say the radius from C to the first circle is a radius of 1. Now, if we go from the center to our second circle, we would say our radius has a length of 2. Because from here to here is 1, and then one more would make 2. So we would say the distance from C to V is a distance of 2. Now, if we kept going and we stopped here, that would be a radius of 3, and then 4, and then 5, and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to write that we have a distance of 2. All right, now what we're going to do is we go back to our center of dilation, and we go all the way to the corresponding point of V, which would be point Q. So starting at point C, we would have to go outwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to get to point Q. So we would say the distance from C to Q would be 6. So line segment CV is a distance of 2, and line segment CQ is a distance of 6. Now, here's how you determine what the scale factor is. Because we were scaling this smaller trapezoid up and making it larger, that means our scale factor must be greater than 1. Anytime you are scaling something up, your scale factor is going to be greater than 1. So all you do is you take these two distances here and you write them on either side of your fraction bar so you get a value that would be greater than 1. So we would have to put 6 on the top and we would have to put 2 on the bottom. And we can simplify 6 over 2 to be 3, which is the scale factor of our dilation. So basically what we did is we started with a line segment that had a distance of 2. And what we did is we took that distance of 2, which is right here, and then we made it 3 times bigger by going from point C all the way to point Q. And if I were to compare those two distances side by side, we can see that it would take 3 of the smaller radius to make the larger radius, or three of the smaller line segment to make the larger line segment. And that's why the dilation increased by a scale factor of three. Now, another thing that we should notice is if we went from point C to U, that is also a distance of two units. And then if we go from C to the corresponding point of U, which is T, that would be six units. And 6 is 3 times bigger than 2. And the same thing would hold true with line segment C to X. That would be a distance of 2. And 3 times bigger than that would be 6. So if we go from C to S, that is 3 times bigger or a distance of 6. And from C to W is a distance of 2. And from C to R, that is a distance of 6. So that is basically how you use a circle grid to find the scale factor of a dilation. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out my math video. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.